M zero FXB Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. Got converter powered up with twelve volts. Uh, we've got our multimeter. We're just going to turn this screw here until we get it down. Because at the moment it's uh, exiting twelve volts. We want to get it down to five. This is our buck converter, so you've got 12 volts that are going to go in from, just for now I'm just going to use this. Um, and then we've got 12 volts that are, we've got a, we can adjust it here down to 5 volts coming out. And then it'll be 5 volts out, but then what we'll do is we'll add some capacitors, sorry, um, some resistors to uh, bring down a second wire to the sort of 4 watts that's required for the radio. Let's get this uh, Bofeng AAAS dismantled, ready to go in our box. So we'll start off by taking the battery off. Just clip that down and it slides off like so. Now we're going to undo that ring there. We just I just put a couple of tweezers in the gap there and I just turned them and it started turning. Like so. Then we just turn it all the way until it comes off. There you go. Give it a tap and that's, that's come off now. Now we just pull off these knobs, just yank them off. Cool, the big one's quite stiff. So we've got a um, couple of rings that we've got to remove in here. We're going to see if we can find a very small screwdriver and put them in the slot and turn it. So eventually they come off just with a, a small flat screwdriver just poking it round. Next we're going to uh, un undo these two screws here like so. I'm going to keep all these bits who knows what we might end up making with them. I'm thinking about trying to make use of the battery see if I can battery power the, the node. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. It does come with a USB charger so that tells me that the USB charger will be 5 volts, so something else to play with. Anyway, let's get these screws off. All the way. So yeah, once the screws are off, this just falls off. And let's have a look at the next, uh, how we get this rubber thing off here in a sec. Next we'll uh, get these two screws off here at the bottom, just here, there's one, there's another one, okay got them off, now let's uh, just lift this up here, see if it just pulls out, it'll be connected to a speaker so we'll give it a wiggle. And there you go, there's the speaker connection. And you, as you can see, we can get that off. And decide if I'm going to desolder it or just snip the wires. So uh, we'll have a look in a minute. So we're going to use the, uh, the air solder to remove the speaker. There you go, it's off. Now we've got these five screws, big one in the middle here. There you go. So we'll take all those five off. So we've got the screws off. 
Now it won't lift off now until we desolder by the looks of it um, this one and this one for it to lift off. Give it a little heat and a lift. Yeah. Might have to do it with a soldering iron. Let's just switch over to the soldering iron. So it looks like we just have to um, desolder this this one, not the, not the other one, just this one. But nearly off, it's coming just a bit more, and we'll be there. There you go. So that just it was only the one solder point that needed to be uh, done, and there was a plastic grommet that was on here, which I pulled off. So we're just going to remove this. LED here, just here. Just uh, desoldering the uh, LED. It's coming bit by bit. You can just yank it off, I suppose, but I might make use of it. Right, next we'll get the uh, microphone off, because we've got the LED off now. Um, and then we'll just get this microphone and just sort of give it a twist. Yeah, try not to break anything else. There you go, microphone off, no wires shorting. Next, we're going to remove uh, this coil and this chip here. Okay, well, a bit of a mess. Well, we got a wire on from the last capacitor here to the first connection where the uh, transistor was. We've connected this, this white wire here. I think normally it would be orange, but anyway, to the top left corner there. And it's going to be the COS wire. Okay, we've soldered the wire back to here for the connector. We're starting to put in these, put, the, put it back together and put these screws back on. So we've soldered it back together with the connector here and we're putting these screws back on. Put the 10k wire here and the 10k wire here, and then we've got the earth wire here sticking out the side. So we're gonna use the buck converter to power the radio at the moment, and I'm gonna use the um, USB charger to power the, the Pi, because I haven't got, I, I'm missing one part, but it's fine, it'll work. So at the moment, we've got the live coming straight from the buck converter, straight into the this connection here. And we've got an earth going from the side there, straight onto the, the USB as an earth there. And at the moment, we're just sticking out, our, our COS cable is sticking out. We've plugged in the, the fob now. And then, so the next part is just start attaching, um, you know, all these, all these wires here. So we're moving forward. We've got the yellow wire here, black here which comes from the, the top of the USB connector. We've, let's just, we've got the black here, which goes to here. So, and then the brown one here, that's the live in. And we're plodding forward with it. 
and we've got this red wire here as well which is the PTT zero FXP yeah so it looks like we've got it working the radio was flashing away just now um, if you look at the the wire configuration now have a good look so we've got the power you know the live power is going here the COS connection from the white cable goes under the circuit board um, then we've got this red wire is the PTT which goes to transmit which I've tested and it works um, we're going to test the audio in a minute and we're going to have a connect to someone we've got Nico what helping out as well <laughs> um, right, so the yellow wire is the receive, and that goes here. Brown, uh, let's have a look now. Uh, what have we missed out on? So, I think we've covered all the wires. So, have a good look. It is working. We're going to do another test in a second. We'll put it on camera. Um, but right now, because we, ha we need another buck converter, which is this thing, we um we've just plugged the raspberry pi into the normal usb connector and we've used the buck converter that i've got and we've lowered it to four watts and we've powered uh we're powering the just the radio uh, so um yeah we could even use i could actually use the battery to power the radio i could just charge it up i, I might have a go at doing that because then i could switch the buck converter to the pi but it's definitely working. We're going to do a test soon. M zero FXB. We have some success. We're not, we, it's not worth doing another one sort of thing. Uh, but um, yeah, should be fine. Uh, touch wood. So they kept her in. She's been isolated. But she did have a funny turn before the, the COVID, and it did knock her off her feet. And this is all very strange. She was off her feet for probably about two or three weeks with chest symptoms. So this is before it was even announced. I'm going back only four months before, you uh, know. So, okay, well, it's working, it's receiving. Just having some problems setting up the transmit, but um, we're getting there. 7 3. 